lithium induced hypothyroidism as the topic for this video and uh, lithium is a commonly used uh, medication in psychiatric conditions such as bipolar and uh, oftentimes when a patient is placed on lithium um, they can develop side effects of that drug now the side effect uh, I wanted to discuss in this video is uh, hypothyroidism so um, a typical scenario is a patient has bipolar or some other psychiatric illness and they're placed on lithium which is uh, used in the treatment and a small percentage I mean not of course definitely not everybody but a small percentage of people will experience symptoms of hypothyroidism and uh, there's a uh, hypothyroidism has a, a long list of symptoms will um, I'll list uh, some of them um, you've got sad mood uh, the skin is affected the person can be tired um, sometimes there's a weight gain involved um, there's a lot of symptoms um, that are uh, clearly uh, not there before treatment began uh, so what really needs to be investigated is some basic uh, blood tests and those basic blood tests any primary doctor can uh, order them include the TSH which is the thyroid stimulating hormone and the free T4 which is the actual thyroid hormone itself so uh, let's uh, look at some uh, clinical vignettes to see what this looks like in a patient presentation a 29-year-old woman who we have been treating for bipolar disorder comes to the office because of feelings of sadness over the past few months. She has been taking lithium for three years and has not had any periods of sadness or manic episodes requiring hospitalization since starting therapy. Before that time, she had been hospitalized four times for manic episodes. She feels sluggish and tired and has difficulty concentrating. Her skin is dry and cool, but the re remainder of the exam is unremarkable. Lab studies show a low free T4 value and elevated TSH. With regard to her drug regimen, the most appropriate action at this time is... Well, um, this, this um, patient is on lithium, and she seems to be doing uh, quite well with regard to her psychiatric uh, condition, because before she had been hospitalized four times um, now since she has been taking lithium for three years she has not had any periods of sadness or manic episodes requiring hospitalization so you definitely want to keep her on the lithium so this would be wrong discontinue lithium would be wrong I also wouldn't lower the dose of the lithium so what I would do which is the recommendation to anyone who's on lithium but develops symptoms of hypothyroidism is keep them on the lithium but begin treatment with levothyroxine and that will raise the thyroid levels up to back to normal it will raise this free T4 value and it will bring the TSH value to normal so B would be the answer uh, the next one 49 year old Caucasian woman with history of bipolar comes to the clinic with increased fatigue forgetfulness and poor concentration she complains that it takes her forever to clean the house and that she doesn't feel as efficient as usual. Her daughter criticizes her weight gain even though the patient denies increased appetite. She denies any recent mood swings and admits to being compliant with her prescribed lithium. She's worried that she's getting Alzheimer's dementia because her paternal grandmother suffered from it. Her daughter is worried that the mother is getting depressed even though this depression seems different from previous episodes she had in the past. Physical exam, aside from mild obesity and mild lower extremity edema, is otherwise unremarkable. Lithium level is 1.1, and CBC and BMP are normal. Most appropriate next step is 2. So this is another uh, classic example of somebody who had a psychiatric disorder, started on lithium, and now she's developing symptoms of hypothyroidism. So we need to make sure that it is indeed hypothyroidism, so you want to order some basic lab tests, which are the free T4 and thyroid stimulating hormone, which would be choice D. 
And then finally, one last one. A 36-year-old woman comes to the psychiatrist for initial appointment after relocating from her home several states away due to transfer of her job. She is on lithium for bipolar, and she has been stable for several years after two manic episodes in her early 30s. She was previously seen by a psychiatrist every two months and had blood drawn for routine monitoring related to her lithium treatment. Since it has been about eight months since her last appointment, the psych doctor decides to order lab work and sees to see the patient back uh, in one week to finish gathering history, to review the lab results, and to provide the patient with another prescription. Which of the following lab studies would be most appropriate? Well, as we've talked about in this video, uh, generally speaking, every six to 12 months, it's most appropriate to monitor the thyroid hormone so in particular the TSH and the free T4.